Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is the Balenciaga 3XL Sock Recycle Knit Sneaker, guys. So this is the final review in my kind of my one-for-one -one repro shoes uh, products reviews, guys. So, you know, if you enjoyed them, you know, make sure you go back in time and watch them, guys. Uh, you know, I, I'm ready to move on from the series, but hey, you know, we gotta bring it back to the beginning, guys. And Ashu is the first company I kind of worked with over the past few weeks since I began doing these repro shoes. So, you know, I, I figured it was, it was, you know, it was best if I end it with, with them, you know? So we're gonna open this up, guys. We're gonna see exactly how these shoes look. And they are very similar to the other shoe that they gave me last time. The, the one last time was more of the traditional Balenci's. But this one here is a little bit more fancy. This is the 3XL one. This is, this one's a little bit more like bougie, I would say, if I was to, to kind of describe it in words. It's a little bit more bougie. It's a little bit more fancy. Um, it goes for about $155, which is about what the original MSRP was, I think. But actually, at the same time, it was a Balenciaga shoe. It must, it must go for more than 155. You know, usually what they do is they match the opening price one for one. But in this case, maybe, maybe they lowered the price based on what the original one was because 155 dollars for a Balenciaga shoe is no way that's real. It must be like a way more expensive shoe. If I go online here, yeah, I mean it's going for four or five hundred dollars. And you know, it's not like these are limited edition. It's just a standard issue shoe right now. It's the next, it's the newest year of it. So yeah, it just says five. Or six hundred dollars, so you're getting it for less money. It, you know, it is a repro, obviously, so that's to be expected. But let's open this thing up and let's see exactly how the box and everything looks. So the box here on the outside does look nice. It looks fine. This is about what the what the actual shoe would look like here. And here is a quick look here at the label. If you want to see all that great information there, and then here is the bottom. Nothing too crazy. You know, the only the only logo here is right here. You know, I think their other line has a better. Uh, box design from Balenciaga. This one's a little bit more standard. So you have a little, little kind of carry-on bag, which is, which is nice. I may use this at some point. I could, I could use a bag like this. I don't know. Put that down there. I'm sure the real one would probably have a higher quality bag if it does come with a bag, which I don't even know. But let's pull out the actual shoe here. The main event. The reason why you're watching this video. So here is one of them, guys. Here's one. This is the Balenciaga shoe. This is the left shoe. Um, here we go, guys. And I have to say, they look kind of weird. And that's nothing to do with a shoe. They're, they're, just, they're just giving me the shoe that I purchased. But you know, I have to say, like, uh, Balenciaga really is not afraid to take risks. And this shoe definitely seems like a risk. It's something I could never buy on my own. I would never pay, you know, $600 for it. But I think $155 is more reasonable for a shoe like this. I'm sure it's going to be great. It's kind of weird. You don't think about Balenciaga and running shoes. But that's really what the shoe here is trying to be. It's trying to be a running shoe. And, you know, it's very extra, so we're going to see exactly, you know, if it's any good. But here is the other side of it, guys. This is the other side here, with um, the same treks here on the bottom. You know, it's very, it's very nice looking, I'm not going to lie, it looks nice, but it is, once again, a very funky design. I am curious to see how the shoe is going to look on my feet, and how it's going to feel, more importantly. So, is there anything else here in the bag? Uh, no. That is it, guys. That is it for the bag here, and then the box. I'm going to put this stuff back in here, and put this to the side because we don't need to see it again. Put that away. Okay guys, so here's a close look at both of them once again before I put them on for you. And here's a full look here. This is the full back of it. And then this is the inside of the sole. My new camera should do a better job getting in there. Yeah, you can really see the inside much better. Let me take out the fabric here. This is a huge difference between the Sony ZV-1 and the, C the ZV-E10 Mark II. This one can do a much better job on very tight things like this. You can really see the inside of the shoe uh, with this camera, which is very nice. Although it is struggling now because it is quite dark in there. And the white is all the way at the bottom and maybe it's not wasn't visible. Um, it looks like this camera is struggling with that too, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, it, it, there is a small Balenciaga logo in there. And then on the side here, you have this logo too, which has the sizing and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, once again, it's kind of hard for me to show you on camera, but the sizing chart is right here if you need to know it. Um, you know, it's not as tall, the sole is not as tall, or not, not, the, not the sole, but the neck of it is not nearly as tall as the other one, the, the standard issue shoe. Um, you know, so that's interesting. The sole itself, I'm going to put my finger on it. You know, it feels quite comfortable, you know. 
it seems like a good quality sole and everything like that, you know. So without further ado, guys, you know, let's let's put this thing on. I am a size uh, 10 to 11, and this is a USA size 11. So you know, it comes in all different sizes. They're going to be measured in EU sizes when you buy it online. Whether you're buying it from Balenciaga, whether you're using one of these We Pro sites, you know, it's, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to come in e EU sizes because that's what it's optimized for, right? So let, let's put this thing on here and let's see. How this feels? I really don't know how this is gonna feel. I'm very curious, very very curious here. Alrighty, putting these things on now, like that. Here we go. And oddly, guys, these are a lot more comfortable than the other shoe I had. I reviewed from them. Check out that review if you haven't seen it. But this is oddly way more comfortable. And but it doesn't look like it would be more comfortable. It looks like it wouldn't be comfortable at all. You know, because it's such a peculiar shoe. You know, like who makes who makes shoes like this? I mean, who who, who does? I mean. Who does this, man? I don't know. But anyway, there's fabric in here. I need to pull it out. Let's pull it out. And let's put the other shoe on as well. Alrighty. I'm gonna stand up for you guys. It gives you a nice little height boost with two, which is very nice. Um, so here's the shoe, guys. Here is me wearing it, as you can see. Very nice, very fancy. I feel bougie. I feel like uh, I'm an elite. I feel like to buy Balenciaga shoes like this, you gotta be fucking... Sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but you really need to be wealthy. You need to be making seven figures. I, otherwise, I, I, I don't know how you could justify buying Balenciagas. But with a shoe, you can all of a sudden afford shoes like this that you otherwise couldn't get, which is really interesting, guys. So let's walk around in them. Let's see you know, how, how it feels. You know, let's, let's walk around here. Okay, I'm walking this way. I'm walking this way. I'm going backwards. I'm running. I'm walking again this way, I'm coming back this way. And yeah, guys, I think this is, a, I had a good opportunity here to uh, to wear these shoes and kind of walk around with them. Um, yeah, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not here to give you the most in-depth review you've ever seen. I'm here to give you the first impressions, but also a quick review and rundown of everything. If you've never watched my videos before, you know, that's just what I do here. So this is, this is, this is, this is pretty much standard here. I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes of your, of your time talking about a shoe. Because how much can you really say about a shoe in the end? It's not rocket science, right? It's not rocket science. But I have to say, this thing is shockingly comfortable. This is a really comfortable shoe. This is more comfortable than the shoes I own that are legitimate. You know, they're not Balenciagas, but I have Nikes, I have Adidas shoes, I have an Adidas Ultra Boost, right? You know, and that's a legitimate shoe, right? But this one feels remarkably comfortable. It feels like a cloud almost. You know, it's not quite like, you know, Nike's Vapor Max or whatever, or Scorpion Max if you're really crazy. But you know, this shoe here, you know, is, is kind of inspired by that. And I think it does a fantastic job, you know, differentiating itself, but also at the same time being extremely comfortable, guys. I mean. Thanks to this new camera I have, you can really see all these details that I've never been able to show you guys before. So it's really nice that my camera was here for this review, so you can really get a clear picture. Like if you're gonna buy the shoe, this is, I mean, this is what it's gonna look like, guys. You don't have to guess. Everything is very clear with this camera. So it's very nice that I was able to show you all that stuff, guys. But yeah, that's my overall opinions on it. I think it's awesome. It just looks like, it looks like it's an alien shoe, but at the same time, it's awesome and so comfortable. And I love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. We're going to move on now from these shoes. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to buy this, I'll have the review link down below, the Ace shoe. Definitely check it out. Otherwise, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, favorite, put on the notification bell, guys. And please turn off the ad block. That stuff really helps me out. Also, guys, you can become a paid member on this channel to get all my videos reviewed first. And also, guys, you can buy merch on YouTube or buy it on my website, pbosonline.com, where you have every video I've ever made without any ads on there. So kind of a great incentive to go on my website and check out this stuff and all my other stuff I have there. But thank you, Ace Shoe. This is a great shoe. Thank you, and 